Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Crinion, co-chair of Environmental Health Symposium, and I've got the honor today of being with Professor Frederick Baum Saul, who's been part of the endocrine disruption movement since the very beginning, and is quite an expert on bisphenols, and he's gonna be doing two presentations at EHS. Professor Baum Saul, it's so great to have you on board. Uh, Walter, it's a pleasure to be talking with you. Now, you were at the very beginning of the whole endocrine disruption movement at the Wingspread Conference. Yes, uh, back in 1990, the organizer of that conference, Dr. Theo Colborn, got together with me, and I had been doing research on very low levels of uh, steroids impacting fetal development, and she said, the things you're seeing at part per trillion differences in fetuses of steroids are the kinds of differences we're seeing in wildlife. And we need to have a meeting that brings all of this together. And so we created the Wingspread Conference that created the field of endocrine disruption and uh, Theo uh, Anasoto and I published the first review using endocrine disruption in a peer-reviewed article in 1993. So it's been a long ride. <laughs> it's been a long time. And you have moved kind of recently into the area of bisphenols, and you published one of the real kind of studies that caught everyone's attention about thermal receipts transferring bisphenols into the body and especially with the use of hand sanitizer. Can you speak about that briefly? Well, first of all, bisphenol A is an endocrine disrupting chemical that's polymerized to make polycarbonate plastic in the lining and the resin lining of cams. Mm -hmm. But it's also dissolved into the surface of thermal paper. As a developer under a heat stylus application to it, it reacts with a leucine dye and gives you print on the surface of the paper. And the problem with this is that it's essentially analogous to invisible talcum powder <laughs> In other words, when you touch a thermal receipt, you're removing massive amounts of BPA onto your hand or any part of your body or any object that it contacts, such as your wallet or purse or pocket. And then this has been demonstrated to be transferred around. And another important issue is that thermal receipts, there are about 3 billion kilograms of thermal paper produced a year, much of which goes into landfill or the recycling stream. And this is what is accounting for massive amounts of BPA coming out of uh, surface waters into, from landfill. Wow. And uh, also into the paper recycling stream. So all recycled papers are loaded with BPA because of this six, or excuse me, three billion kilograms. There's 20 milligrams per gram of receipt paper of BPA or its replacement bisphenol, bisphenol S, the two major bisphenols used in receipt paper. Now, why did the, the hand sanitizer increase the absorption of the bisphenol so much? So as all doctors know, drugs that are administered through the skin use dermal penetrating enhancing chemicals, such as propylene glycol, ethanol, uh, isopropyl uh, 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 meristate, and these chemicals synergize together to accelerate transdermal transport by as much as a hundredfold. So 
when you use personal care products, all of which contain these dermal penetrating enhancing chemicals, and we used in our experiment um, uh, a hand sanitizer, but you know, skin lotions or sunscreens wouldn't be any different. And they dramatically degrade the dermal barrier to penetration of small lipophilic molecules smaller than about 500 Daltons and within the 1.5 to 5 range of uh, the log P. You know, I've since studying about that bisphenols do transfer with dermal contact from receipts and finding that it was really a very real thing, I've become more aware of receipts and I typically don't accept them any longer at stores but at Costco you've got to they hand you your receipt and you've got to hold it in your hand all the way out to the door so they can check it and I noticed there's this big bottle of hand sanitizer right there so if you're in Costco you can get a you can get quite a load that, that's true of most of the big box stores and restaurants and they'll have hand sanitizer right next to the cash register. And the cashiers are taught to hand you the receipt folded with the print side out, which is what the BPA is dissolved into. Oh. But you're a male. And when we did our study, men received in, for the same dose of BPA applied to their hand through thermal paper, one-tenth the maximum value that women did. Women have thinner skin. They use more personal care products. Uh, so their background de degradation of the oh, dermal barrier is greater. Goodness, and so women are much more at risk. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. Well, yeah. Dr. Professor Vom Saul, we're so thrilled that you're going to be with us at EHS because you're going to talk both about bisphenols, which you know a tremendous amount about, where they come from, how, they, how we deal with them, and um, endocrine-induced obesity. So we're very, very thrilled to have you. Thank you so much for taking the time today and for taking the time to come be with us at EHS. Well, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you.